Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, precious word, truth and faith, the strong man, sister. Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas word, truth be faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to your Akim out there. And the title of this lesson is going to be, It's better to put your faith and trust in the Lord rather than putting confidence in men of this world. So I'm bringing up a scripture for that, for this uh, sit down lesson. And this is the book of Psalms, chapter 1. 18 verse 8 and it reads through the holy scriptures it is better salakia oh salakia about that go to the other version of that Okay, let me get to it now. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse 18, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, verse 8, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Because, you know, man, you know, not put confidence in man, that's what's just man of this world, you know. Because, you know, man of this world, you know, tell the do as thy will, and you know, the opposite of the Heavenly Father of His law, statutes, and commandments, which was given to the children of Israel, which is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. They are the uh, true children of the Most High. So it's better to, to trust the Lord rather than putting confidence in man, because you're putting full confidence in this man. It's like trusting, in, it's like examples of trusting this Babylonian system. You know, with the digital currency, you know, when that MLTB come into full effect with that forehead on your forehead and then your right hand, you know, that's that our temptation, that MLTB. That's like putting full of trust in man, you know, in this Babylonian system, you know, and it's not better to not be involved in this beast system. It's better to trust the Heavenly Father, you have the Son, you have a shy. So it's best to trust in the Lord to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Follow the righteous ways, follow the righteous path for the Heavenly Father. You have on the Son, you have a shy as well too. And this definitely applies to the children of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the speckled bird is a license as well too. It's better to put your full trust in the Lord rather than man. Because, you know, putting your full confidence in man, it'll lead you astray to uh, down the wrong path. And the righteous path is the best way to go, especially your uh, Israelite. You know, makes up the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. So it's better to put your trust in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh not confidence in this man because the confidence in this man will lead to the uh, digital currency the MOTB you know you gotta get that waters you know that waters and then you gotta have your, your mask on and everything just to just to you know <clears throat> make it through this society to have freedom in this society you know and all that, you know, trusting the ways of this world is not the righteous path. Trusting the ways of the Heavenly Father, because the Heavenly Father ways are of not this world. Because like the scriptures say, the ways of this world is foolishness unto the sight of the Most High. Because the Heavenly Father is not, because <clears throat> the Heavenly Father is not of this world. You know, especially you being the chosen children of the Most High, even though you in this world, but not of this world. So it's best to put your faith and trust in the Heavenly Father, your house and the Son, your house shy as well too. And not put full confidence in man. Put full confidence as a man is like integration. You know, just to get along with everybody. You know, you gotta do your best just to try to fit in, just to get along, you know. And once you try to do all that, you get exhausted, you know. And then you walk a spring from your own culture, your own uh, 
uh, heritage and your own language. Because, you know, it's like the scripture says, learn not the ways of the other nations, which is learn not the ways of the other Gentile nations, you know. Come back into your heritage, come back to the true heritage of being an Israelite, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too, makes up the 12 tribes of Israel. Like I mentioned before, like three or four times, you know, I mentioned again, like a broken record play. <laughs> so it's better to put your trust in the Heavenly Father, your album, rather than putting your full confidence in a man, because it has a lot of categories in that being trusted in this, in this system, this Edomite, Edom, Edomitist type system. It's like the scripture says, Job 9 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So it's better to not fully trust and confidence of men of this world. So it's better to trust in the heavenly father. Get back into the righteous path and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. And acknowledge who you are in these last days. That's why the heavenly father, true mouthpiece is out there. Which is uh, the man of great millstone. Starting with the elders, apostles. that have been in this truth for 30 plus years and still going strong to this day. And we continue to learn from them. And we continue to learn from our, el our elders in our camp and the brotherhood in our camp as well, too, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the true gospel, the true doctrine of the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Shai, and through the Holy Scriptures as well, too, doing sit-down lessons for edification's sake, to uh, wake, up our, wake up our Israelite brothers and sisters, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too and wake them up and have them acknowledge that they are the chosen people of the most high they are the true jews according to the holy scriptures you know come back to the law statutes and commandments acknowledge who you are in these last days that we are living in so it's better to come back unto the righteous path for the heavenly father yahweh the son yahweh shai <clears throat> rather than uh putting your full confidence in man of putting your full confidence in man will lead you down to the opposite direction and not good direction. Come back to the righteous path for the heavenly father. Yeah, I'm the son. Yeah, I was shy as well, too. So with that, I ain't going to do this video too long. So I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. And this is applies to the uh, children of Israel. I hope y'all will edify with this lesson. Which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Speckled Bird Israelites as well, too. The true and lost sheep of the house of Israel. I hope this applied to you. And I hope you was edifying. I hope you was able to listen to this message as well, too. So with that, once again, I hope this is edifying. This edifying uh, sit-down lesson. I hope you listeners out there was edifying. Through the spirit, power, verse, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. And once again, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that's got the four corners of the globe, uh, preaching his word, truthfully, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom.